Hey guys, what's up? This is McKinsey Chriswell here, and today we're going to be taking a look at putting videos inside of an uh, Adobe Muse site. Alright, so I know this is a little bit of an unusual tutorial for me to be doing. Uh, normally the tutorials I do focus more around visual effects or motion graphics, but uh, this particular tutorial is just to solve a problem I happen to see. Now, uh, the issue at hand is that I was looking around on the internet uh, quite a while ago trying to find a way to put videos on my site. You know, I've got my tutorials page and I wanted to um, have not only a link to Vimeo, uh, but also, you know, in case something happened with Vimeo or uh, the video was messed up somehow, have uh, a version of the video on my site. Uh, and I did a quick Google search to see, you know, what video formats compatible with Muse. Uh, here's the actual Google search I did. How to use a video on your Muse site. And basically what I get is videos have to be Flash or SWF or, uh, you know, all sorts of other crazy things. I did find that someone had actually written a uh, video player in Java and was allowing people to use that. And that works, but still, it's it's not that complicated, as I recently found out. Um, recently, I was in Dreamweaver messing around, uh, trying to, you know, uh, learn how to use it a little bit better. Uh, and I just happened to drop a video into uh, Dreamweaver, and it uh, just went in perfectly uh, after I had come to the realization uh, that uh, you could only put videos on your site if you had created a video player in Java. Um, but it worked fine uh, without me writing any Java code. And so I'm like, all right, this is pretty sweet. So I looked and uh, to see what it had had uh, done in the code view, and it had created something called an iframe. And that's where our tutorial brings us today. So uh, the basic idea is I've got this nice uh, little video. Uh, <laughs> And the idea is I want to put this on my website. Um, now normally uh, you would upload this to YouTube or Vimeo or any other video service out there. They're all great. Um, but let's say you don't want to do that for whatever reason, whether it's because you want to maintain quality control of your video or just, uh, you know, you don't like the compression on YouTube or Vimeo or any of the, uh, any of the other services out there. Uh, you want to put this on your site yourself. Just link to the video file and have it play. Uh, and if you were to Google it, uh, apparently you would not be told how to do it. So uh, that's where our tutorial starts. So first thing first, I'm going to really quickly just create a new page in Muse to put this video on. Uh, let's see. It doesn't really matter where I put it, I guess, because I'm just going to delete it in a second. But here we have our new page, uh, and what I'd want to do is put our uh, nice little video on it. Now, I do have it saved, and uh, the first step would actually be to make sure that the video is going to be on your site server. So, uh, the way we would do that is in Muse, just come up to File, uh, Add Files for Upload, they make it very easy, and uh, then what I have is actually it's out it's in a different folder sorry but what I have is a copy of the video right here and uh, what I would then do is just click that and then if I were to open up my assets and look for that video file right there I would see whenever I publish my site again it's going to be uploaded to uh, the server along with all the files that are necessary to uh, make this site appear correctly so from there how exactly would we go about doing this 
Well, we would use what's called an iframe. And to do that, you just come into uh, Muse, sorry, uh, object and insert HTML. If you were in Dreamweaver, you would just start writing this uh, very simply. Uh, but in Muse, we can only really use snippets of HTML, which isn't all that inconvenient. You can still do quite a bit with it just by knowing what you're doing. So, uh, if you don't know how HTML works, it's pretty easy. You create your tag, uh, and then you close it. And, whoops, you close it by just slashing after your um, greater than sign and typing the exact same tag. And we could put some text in here in between the two iframes, and what that would do is just, uh, if for whatever reason, the video was not available, we could, it would say video not available instead of displaying displaying the iframe. But uh, our actual video would go inside of our iframe. So we would go ahead and type a couple of things. Uh, the first thing we want to do is actually link to the video. So to do that, we would type in SRC or source equals and since I know this is going to be uploaded to my website, I can just use uh, that link. So I would then open quotes, type in http colon slash slash www dot Kinsey Chriswell. Uh, currently my site's down, so it's going to be on businesscatalyst.com slash assets, which is a folder where everything is stored on Muse that you upload without being used. Uh, I think actually everything is stored in an assets folder, so you can link to anything. And then I would type in video.mov. Go ahead and type width of the video is going to be 640. Of course, you can use any width or height you want. Uh, sorry, I actually forgot to close the quotes here. That is necessary. My bad. Uh, and then I would type height. It's a little bit harder to write this when you're not in Dreamweaver because uh, it doesn't autocorrect. I also forgot to put the equal sign there. And then the height would be 360. And then you can add whatever stylization you want. Really, all I do is type in frame border uh, equals zero. And that's just to ensure that the video does not have a weird border around it. But this is actually all that's necessary to get your video going. Uh, and what's cool is this is basically how all videos are actually put into your site. So what you could do is actually go to Vimeo or YouTube, right click, copy embed code, and then just change their link to their videos and replace it with the link to your video. So you don't have to remember writing all this. You just have to know where the videos are stored on um, sites hosted with Muse and Business Catalyst, and then how to uh, use that to um, link the video to your site. So if we go ahead and hit OK, it will load and uh, it's not going to pick up because the video is not actually on our site yet. So we'll have to resize this if we want to make sure it's uh, in the correct position just manually by dragging the box to 640 by 360. Let's see. Okay, and then we could uh, center this, of course, and do whatever else we want to do to it. Add, you know, whatever else you would normally have on this page, and then just save. And I'm also going to go ahead and just change the name of this so that I can find it really easily on my site to uh, test. So what I should be able to do is just go to my website slash test dot html. And then we would go ahead and just click publish. It's going to go ahead and start publishing. And as we can see, it's going to get here and start uploading assets slash video.mov. It's going to take a second, just depending on how fast your internet connection is. 
All right, and once it's done loading, it'll go ahead and take us to our site. I'm gonna go ahead and go to that page I created really quickly just by going to slash task dot test dot html and as you can see our video is already loading up it does take a second and then we can just hit play Oops. just hit play and it should be ready to go it's taking a second to load because I've got a couple of things on the internet right now but <laughs> all right there we go it's not loading very fast because I got a lot of stuff going on the internet right now but the video is there on the site. We do get a little bit of letterboxing because this video is actually a little bit um, uh, not the same aspect ratio as uh, the box we set up so is but as long as you know the actual resolution of your video you can uh, adjust accordingly. Uh, but anyways that's hopefully been a very um, quick and helpful tutorial to get you started a little bit faster in Adobe Muse allow you to put some videos up. Uh, there's of course nothing wrong with using Vimeo or YouTube, it's just this is a great alternative uh, if you want it. Uh, but I'm Mackenzie Griswell and uh, I'll see you next time.